technologies for our clients, which are typically grassroots nonprofits or social entrepreneurs in developing countries. So we'll design things like small wind turbines for electricity, wow. mm -hmm. stove, LED Careful, lamps, honey. things like that. Excellent, very concise as well. Uh, Mike, can you, can you give me your pitch for Architecture for Humanity? Uh, I, I guess the short pitch is uh, we find innovative design solutions to help communities in need around the world. Um, essentially, we design and help construct uh, buildings, uh, whether it be community centers in Asia, mm -hmm. schoolhouses in Africa, or new types of uh, housing in Mississippi. Hi. And we have a community What's he saying? Design. We work with partner Hi. communities mm -hmm. to identify their designs instead of just coming in. Careful, with, honey. With sort of an idea made up ahead of time of what exactly they need. All right, so now we've, we've got everyone. That's the base. You know, we've, we've, What's we've he saying? I, I wanted to ask a few things. First of all, since we're here in San Francisco, there's a lot of non-profit work, there's a lot of uh, interesting social enterprise that goes on in San Francisco. Is this the best place in the world to do the job that you're doing? Careful, honey. I'd have to say it's a good place to go just because of technology. I mean, we're working around the world and we have to work with uh, communities and, and we really... All of our, all our interactions with them is online via Skype and our own websites and platforms that we're developing. And just being in the Bay Area with its high concentration of tech sector expertise uh, it makes it easier to develop the tools that we need in order to keep in contact with everyone else. So our focus isn't working here, but the tools that we get here allow us to work everywhere. Uh, and Mark, I mean, your, your projects are much 